everyone, Dawn here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So I am going to watch Amberlynn's latest video. I haven't done a lot of Girl World lately. I really, you know, I'm I'm a casual Girl World person. I'm just, uh, there's so many other things I'm interested in. I don't just want to do Girl World videos, but we're going to do Amberlynn's video today. I'm going to react to it. We're going to talk about it a little bit. I did watch it already, but I, I really just got to listen to it a little bit because I was watch, playing it while I was working. So, um, anyway, here we go. January 16th, welcome to a new vlog. I personally don't understand how it's already the 16th. Time is just like literally flying by. Speaking of flying, why did I throw butter out the window? I'll give you guys a second. because I wanted to see Butterfly. Literally the stupidest joke ever. Okay, so let's get into this weigh-in. By the way, I was super snacky last night. It was pretty stupid. So I'm not expecting a loss. So just a, a warning. Hello. Hello. Ready. Okay, stepping on. 507.0 pounds. Oh, 507.0. I... If you guys hear chomping and chewing in the background, Twinkie's eating her breakfast, but I was 507.0, which I'm so happy about. This is a perfect example of how yesterday was a gray area because it's like I told myself several times to stop snacking and several times I listened to myself, but there was a couple times where I was very snacky yesterday. I just was snacking, snacking, snacking all day long but I didn't really well my sister took me out for lunch and I ate maybe like two ounces of food but then I snacked all day you know and not big snacks like I would go grab a little slice of cheese or you know a little bit of fruit or something but still it was a snacky day for me I was like let me just have one more let me just have one more little snack I have thought of making my gray area like a cloud, like a little cloud because clouds are gray. Her with her doodles. Sometimes they are. But maybe I'll start that in it, February, so I'm just gonna I feel like she thinks this writing it down and having cute little doodles and things. I think that, and I'm not saying this to be mean, but I think that it gives her the feeling that she's really doing something by doing that. And it's just... I mean, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really hurt anything, but it's not helping either. It's just, I feel like it gives her an illusion that there's more happening than what really is happening. But that I had an off day yesterday, even though I don't fully believe that. I was a little snacky. I gave in a little here and there, but it was nothing like crazy or intense. Um, but I was expecting to like stay the same or gain a couple ounces. So maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. So I'm currently in the other unit and I'm doing my laundry and you guys carry my laundry in this. It gets really heavy, especially when it's wet. So I put it on top of my suitcase, literally game changer. I'm actually currently just waiting because my, I thought my clothes were done drying, but they still had 15 minutes. So I'm gonna wait a good like 10 and then I'll be done. But I just wanted to show you that life hack. If you have to go into a different unit to, you know, do your clothes or if you have to go to like a laundry room, you may be thinking, how many people actually have to go into another unit to do something if they live in an apartment complex? Last winter, we didn't have hot water. They, and it right happened right around Christmas time. So everybody was on vacation and maintenance men would trickle in and they would be like, well, we'll have people come out. But you know, a lot of people, a lot of their people are on vacation. It's a holiday, so it's going to be hard to get someone in here, but we'll get it fixed for you. So we ended up, they ended up letting us use another apartment with running water and use their hot water, like the empty apartment's hot water. So yeah, it does happen. <laughs> It shouldn't, but it does. That's like in your apartment complex. Well, I mean, sometimes you can't help it. Suitcase. So here it is, and then I just push it. It's literally the best invention, I know. When Eric has to bring a big box of garbage or something to the dumpster, he will put it on his skateboard. <laughs> okay, you guys, so it is the next day. 
Uh, my mom's pipes actually froze. So she had to come over here and shower. It's the middle of the day. I haven't even done my weigh-in yet. I've been awake for literally hours and hours and hours and hours. I hate weighing myself in the middle of the day because your weight fluctuates hardcore, especially after you've ate. It is what it is, mm -hmm. but let's go do the weigh-in. Okay, so just for continuity, I'm going to say the date, January 17th. I can't believe I've weighed in daily for 17 days. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, feather in your cap. All right, step it on. 508.8 pounds. 508.8? <laughs> your girl is not surprised with that. Okay, so 508.8. Makes me very sad to see it, but yesterday I was not on track, so that explains that. Plus, weighing myself at such a weird time of day, but no excuses. I still had an off-track day. Y'all, I have some amazing news. They fixed my dryer. A guy came today and fixed it. There was, like, a massive indent on the outside. So when this would be running, it would sound crazy. So he fixed it. I'm so happy I get to finally do my clothes in my apartment. Okay, you guys, so I surprised my mom with a little something something. So if you remember this clip from my last vlog or a couple of vlogs ago, my mom got this uh, 365 days of words to inspire. But it is a 2022 calendar, which is totally fine. Well, I got her the actual 2024 one, and I know she's going to be so happy and excited for it. So I'm excited to give it to her. Okay, you guys, so I have started the Roses Lego. As you can see here, I've already made eight roses. But as you guys know, Lego is super expensive. And it's a hobby that I've been doing a lot of. Like I really, I know a lot of people have a problem with her doing her Legos. But my son, he's 25 years old. He still does Legos. He buys these huge kits, the ships and everything. And he loves doing it. To me, it's like putting together a puzzle or a model or something. There's nothing wrong with it. And I don't understand why people pick on people for it. Um, and then she's got diamond painting here, right? I've been doing it for literally years. Oh yeah, diamond painting. I love been, diamond painting. I'm kind of fixated on it again. So something else that I really enjoy doing is diamond painting. So I actually got this from Amazon. I do like Pokemon. It was a thing. I think they're adorable. So I got this Pokemon diamond painting and I'm excited to give it a go. And no, diamond painting is not as fun as Legos, but it's definitely a cheaper hobby. My eyes are so bad, even with glasses, Hello, I can't do the diamond 18th. painting. Okay, stepping on. Whoa. Like, I don't give credence to a, a few tents here or there, but that's not wholly significant at her size, but still significant. I'm not going to. This um, actually breaks my heart. So, yesterday. So, was do something the first more productive. Food wise, that I have had the whole. Someone her size could actually be losing a uh, meaningful amount of weight like like uh, she's like so proud of a few ounces here and there and you know she she at her size she could be buckling down and losing a meaningful amount of weight but she just refused to put in refuses to put in like true effort if she put in real effort I mean I know she's lost a tiny little bit but she could put in even just 50 percent more effort and, and she would see, I mean, more meaningful numbers, I think. January, what you guys are seeing is a lot of hot Cheeto and Reese's, a lot of salt, a lot of salt. Ramen, just like, literally, yesterday was so bad, I just, I can't even put it into terms. It just truly felt like I could not get full. 
physically, mentally, emotionally, like it doesn't matter. I gain weight so easy. The sodium is no joke. And normally situations like this would make me cry, but it's like, why am I going to cry when I did this to myself? Like I literally did this to myself. No one did this to me. No one did this for me. This is my fault. So instead of crying, I'm going to use this as motivation to do better. We can't, we can't let days like this happen. Like these used to happen way too often. They're going to keep happening. Hey guys. So it's January I'm sorry. 19th. So let's do a weigh in here. Hello. Okay. So I'm about to step on, but I do want to say I did better yesterday than the day prior. So let's keep our fingers crossed. 512.4 pounds. 512.4. Boo! I was expecting, like, to lose a little bit more than that, so... Okay, so you didn't lose anything. 512.4, which means I gained a little bit off track yesterday. Like, all of these off tracks are definitely a reflection of my mental health. That's something mm -hmm. I've definitely noticed. You guys, I really don't want to come on here and do this, but uh, admitting that I'm currently depressed for some reason is hard for me. There's just so much stigma around it, and I just, I don't know. I am depressed. There's, not, there's no stigma. Everybody is suffering from some level of depression. Like, for some reason is hard for me. There's just so much stigma around it, and I just, There's no stigma. I, don't know. I am depressed. And I don't know why. Like, I have no reason to be depressed. Being over 500 pounds is a this, good reason to be depressed. I, don't know. I am depressed. And I don't know why. Like, I have no reason to be depressed other than mental illness. Like, I have been, like, denying it. I have been in denial, and I've just noticed the last few days just that feeling of it coming, and today it just, like, really hit me, and I just haven't wanted to get out of bed. The only thing that I am finding the strength to do is literally get out of bed and take Twinkie outside. Here's the thing. Mental illness is not rare. I think most people suffer from some amount of mental illness. There's no longer a stigma on it. People are getting treatment. They're, they're, people are seeking help more and more now than ever. People are taking their meds. People are talking it out with, you know, I, she hasn't mentioned it, but I doubt she's found a psychologist while she, since she's moved. And it, you know, you can't just abruptly stop therapy. She stopped her medicine. So that might have something to do with it. I don't know. I'm no expert. I've only, I've only been on, you know, medication for my mental health for years. So, um, but she isn't special. There's nothing special about, about her situation. She's not, she, she thinks, you know, her situation is so rare. She's so unique. Her situation is so unlike anybody else's. And this is, how, this is what's happening to me and it's not happening to you. You may suffer from the same thing, but mine is different. She always thinks her situation is different. Her depression is different. Her mental illness is different and it's just not, she's just not special in the way she thinks she is. Days like this used to happen for me a lot, very frequently. Like my emotions used to be very back and forth, up and down. It was like I was either depressed or manic. There was never like an in-between. And it's like lately, just over time, especially within the time of living on my own, I have found some sort of balance. So for me to feel this way and to feel as low as I do, I just feel really sad. And it's like, I feel like a failure right now at life. And I have missed uploading days because of this. And it's like the only thing I can do is ride the wave. Um, this has been my life for Doesn't it feel a little bit like she's getting, trying to get the poor me syndrome points because she suspects Beck might be coming out with some information about her because she is a narcissist. She is a A-B-U-S-E-R. And um, we know this. 
but it seems like she's trying to garner sympathy now. So we'll feel sorry for her and we'll, we listen, she, she thinks in some way if we, if Beck comes out and tells her story or gets interviewed by Mr. Snowflake, we're just going to be like, oh, let's not be hard on Amber Lynn right now. She's going through so much. My whole life and I just have to ride the wave. The thing is like sometimes the wave, it lasts months, weeks, and sometimes just a couple of days. I just want to be okay and I want to feel okay and today's just not just not it for me like if you would have asked me four days ago hey really how are you doing i would have said i'm great i'm happy i'm good and today i'm like miserable beyond belief and i just feel so sad like within my soul but i know it's because i'm depressed and that's just how i am feeling right now so if anyone else is struggling with depression and please don't think I'm heartless, okay? I have depression too. Um, I've been struggling the past three weeks. Um, and the little episodes I have are very short. They're very brief stints, but still I understand. And I'm not trying to be heartless or seem like I don't care. It's not that. I care about other people's mental health. I absolutely do. But it just, she's so predictable. We know when these things are gonna come. And I'm sure she is depressed. Being over 500 pounds cannot be fun. I was at my highest 380 pounds and it was a drag, literally a drag. I had to drag my ass everywhere because I was so big. But at the same time, I just feel like she uses it as a crutch. She uses it as an excuse and she uses it when she knows some, you know what, is gonna hit the fan a little bit. Just know I know how it feels, and you're not alone, and we're going to get through it. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. It is January 20th, so I'm feeling a tiny bit better than I did in my last vlog. Well, where I talked to you guys just very surface level about, like, I feel a tad bit depressed. Yesterday was really, really bad, but... Thankfully, yep. Yep. I feel like I have dug myself out of my depression hole a little bit. And if you are a cardinal sign, aka Capricorn like I am, you guys know that January 20th is a good day today. Because Pluto has finally left Capricorn. I used to not really be into like zodiac signs, but I don't know what it is. Like, especially within like the last like month or two. I have been more fascinated with it, so I have just been, like, doing research and, like, learning more about it, and I don't know, kind of love it. Okay, anyways, I'm rambling. Let's I don't, I don't like it. Okay, stepping on. 513.8 pounds. 513.8. I just keep gaining. Which is very freaking sad. Oh my Kick God. it up. Kick it up into high hey guys, gear. You, so you can't keep going on like this, Amber. I don't even have to write it down. But, I mean, I'm not doing that great with my mental health. And that reflects. There she is again. The way that I eat, that is very prominent. Like, I am so glad I started documenting all this down because. I have never actually truly witnessed that myself. That if anything on that calendar, with each weigh-in, she should put what her mood was the night before, like when she ate and stuff, she should put what her mood was. That would be better, you know, uh, track her mood. Because she needs couch time. She needs some couch time. She needs, she needs... A mental health team and I'm not saying this to be mean because I have a mental health team she needs a mental health team because she's she can't do it alone she thinks she can but she can't you think you can do these things Nemo but you can't my mental health is really bad so is my eating so I'm gonna try my very hardest today especially to just focus on the good things in my life I have so much to be grateful for and I just I really need to figure this out all these little sad faces hi guys it is the next day i didn't even do my weigh-in today my mom ended up staying the night last night and we watched 
a scary movie called Thanksgiving. Scary movie. I want to like see a that. Killer movie, and I could guess who the killer was like almost immediately, but I still actually enjoyed it. Anyway, so I guess my mom staying the night, and then just like this weird mental headspace I've been in, and the fact that I've been flopping, anyways on my weight like i just like didn't weigh myself i didn't even think about it until just now being in the car so i do apologize about that um me and my mom are actually heading to my grandma's house and we're gonna play some cards today um it is sunday by the way um sunday january 21st i think i do want to continue saying the dates of my videos like i don't know if i'm gonna continue the daily weigh-ins i don't i don't know here we go i just am, like in the weirdest headspace ever and i don't really know you need happening. to get professional but help i think it might be seasonal depression which is not fully something that i've ever struggled with before i've just struggled with straight up depression highs and lows due to me being bipolar but i've never like experienced like seasonal depression but i just noticed like just being trapped indoors like i'm not indoors right now but like there was a lot of ice and a lot of snow like especially last week and stuff and i think just like the cold is getting to me i don't really know what it is um genuinely i don't have anything to be sad about like there's so many things that i'm grateful for in my life and happy about and i don't know depression doesn't there doesn't have to be a reason it's a chemical issue in your brain you know and i am feeling better though there's medication that. for that um a couple days ago was definitely the worst but i am feeling better so Yay. Guys, I am genuinely feeling a million times better. Like, I just had a hard last, like, five days, six days. I don't know. But I feel so much freaking better. I actually just posted a couple TikToks. And one of them, I do edit Tammy Slayton. And we're both dancing. I don't like how it looks right there. I still have my, uh, balloons. I love how she's like, Tammy Slayton is an inspiration, and she is. I am so proud of Tammy. Um, love Tammy. I'm very happy for her. I, I wish nothing but great things for her. And the same thing for Amber. I wish great things for Amber, too. But the difference is Tammy's doing it. Now, it was hard to get through to her head and get her to do it, but she's doing it. And um, But Amber is just, it is going to, you know, look. Tammy was on oxygen because, and, and had a trait done, right? Was that what happened? And um, she still wasn't ready to lose the weight. So, you know, I think with Amber, things are going to get a whole lot worse before they get better. And I don't mean to be dark and dismal, but, you know, if Tammy's such an inspiration to her, do it. Show her because to me that's kind of disrespectful to say someone's such an inspiration and then to not follow their lead. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just how I feel. They're alive and well, folks. Oh my god, I have a haul. I just remembered. I bought my first squishmallow ever. Okay. Squishmallows are so cute. You guys are currently sitting on the bed. Are you guys ready to see this? Look. I know a grown ass man that collects squishmallows and then he makes fun of me playfully. He doesn't mean it. He makes fun of me for collecting Funko Pops. <laughs> Isn't it the cutest thing? I promise I'm not gonna get a squishmallow. I can't, I can't even give her crap about that because I collect toys. I love my stuffies. I don't have a lot of stuffed animals, but I've been getting some lately. I got me a Bucky. I got a Stitch. I got a Banks, that's the baby cheetah from the Jacksonville Zoo. And uh, when we go to Disney Springs this coming weekend, I am going to look for Kevin from Up. You know Kevin, she's a beautiful bird. Addiction, it's just, she was so cute and she was calling out to me. Because me and my mom were at Walmart yesterday and I also got a few other things. So let me haul that for you guys. Sit y'all right here. Oh my God. So I got two fake plants <laughs> i do like fake plants i just thought these were super adorable i love the like little vase i don't know what you call those and then i also got what you this get adorable barbie mug i was like um yes i love barbie aesthetic again i can't I say I anything i was about to say you're 33 years old but i can't say anything because i i love the pink 
two of my lights have gone out in my kitchen. Uh, this guy, I think there's like three lights on that and only one is currently working. So we got to get those figured out. So these are glass. They're room and lemon spray and salted coconut and mahogany. Okay. So I got one for my bedroom and one for my living room. So I love when my apartment smells good. So I also got some more wax melts because I love them. They're both Yankee Candle. I got Moonlit Cave and Warm Luxe Cashmere. So that is my little haulage. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to wait to try this, but... <coughs> I didn't watch and this far when earlier. I, it, I was like, okay, we need to try this for a vlog. This lighting though is not cute. So I'm gonna not cute. Cream. I hate that. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm gonna that's, open it. that's such a put on. Like it's such an act that it's not cute. I hate it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink it. Okay. Just kidding. The sour cream. Like, so she's gonna make here. vegetable dip, right? She's trolling, right? I mean, I don't remember. She was acting like she's never heard of this Ew. before. So now I'm gonna sit here and stir this for probably a hot minute. All right, so I stirred it and it looks like a dip. So she took yeah, it, ranch so it dip. Sweet mini bell pepper. I love those mini bell peppers. And if you guys know me, you know that I love these so much. So I was like, I gotta try this. She just dipped it. And she said it was really good. So, here we go. Wow. That is amazing. That's got to be a... She's got to be trolling. What? Holy... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is she seriously trying to tell oh, me she's goodness. never had vegetables and oh, ranch great. dip before? <laughs> she's trolling. She's full of shit. Have to like close your eyes for a minute. Okay, guys, so I just sat here and edited this whole vlog. Originally, it was almost 40 minutes, and somehow I got it down like half that time. That's pretty amazing, but I'm sorry, this video is up way past when it should be. <laughs> I was supposed to be uploading every other day, and I have flopped, but I am feeling better now. Well, you have to have something um, to upload. Mental illness is just as important as getting the flu. Sometimes you just need a break. And I'm feeling a lot better. Um, anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So now she's opened the door. And she will have that to lean on for when Becky comes forward with her full story. So, yeah. That's what's happening there. Um, so, yeah. She's still just as vapid as ever. So, nothing's changed over her week off. Um, well, that's it. That's my reaction. Um, not much to be said about that. So anyway, that's it. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.